when we were doing that, we were thinking, well, who is this Diana Ross? Who is this person who's this huge superstar that's, you know, done film and television and, you know, and more hit records than anyone at that point in time? And she says, there's a new me coming out. Like, so the Diana Ross that you thought you knew, there was a brand new one coming out. She had something to show the world. And I, I knew that Diana was an icon in the gay community. And, um, and I thought, wow, how could I do her version of Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud? You know, how could I Diana do Diana Ross's version? reputation as a diva lives on. Today, she is also a glittering gay icon. Gay audiences love drama queens. They love tragedy and they love campness, and I think that Diana Ross encapsulates all those things. Diana said, hey, I'm not dissing the gay community. They make up my record sales. I'm playing to them. So she predated Kylie Minogue's awareness, Madonna's, and everything. So she's the queen, the empress, the diva of all time. Gay people tend to want somebody that's extra, and with Diana, she is very extra. You know, the hair, the nails, the makeup, you know, and she's larger than life. As an African American woman, she's an inspiration because she is, has been able to take her craft, take her art, transcend racial lines, transcend gender lines, age lines. I mean, people were in there. They weren't even born when Diana Ross started singing, and they were in the front row. I'm doing boom, boom, coming, boom. Ladies and gentlemen, out, Diana Ross, boom, I'm coming. So that's all that was supposed to be. But I got the idea because I went to a bar one night, and there were all these transvestites in there, and I guess maybe they were having some kind of Diana Ross contest, but I didn't know. And I walk into the bar, and I'm standing there, and I'm peeing, and there are these guys dressed up like Diana Ross. They have the big hair and they're in there and they're men, like in female impersonators dressed like Diana Ross. And I look to my left and I look to my right and I see two guys looking like Diana Ross in the men's bathroom. And I call my partner and I said, Bernard, you won't believe this. I got the greatest idea in the world. What if Diana Ross were gay? <laughs> and she said, she's coming out. So not only does the song mean I'm coming out on stage, but she's coming out and she's also paying tribute to the gay community. So it was like triple entendre. It was like... So what happened was, Diana was proud of it. I mean, the record was smoking. It was original sounding. It was her own kind of thing. It was just for her. She went out and she played the demo of the record for the biggest DJ in America named Frankie Crocker. And, and, and Frankie said to her, uh, Diana, do you know that that's a gay song? <laughs> And Diana went, what do you mean a gay song? That's a gay song. You know, they're saying, I'm coming out. And you're going, I'm coming out. And you go, <laughs> and she goes, I'm coming out. <laughs> and, and, uh, and Frankie was sort of like uncomfortable with it. So he told her about it. And he told her that that song was going to ruin her career. <laughs> so she comes back to the studio and says to Bernard and myself, why are we trying to ruin her career? And I looked at Diana, and I, I do not, first of all, it's always me and the artist against the record company. The last thing I would ever do is lie to an artist. That just doesn't work. It's, it's, it, it, it's wrong. It just, I, I don't know how to do that, except this time. I lied my ass off. She looked at me and she says, no. Are people going to think I'm gay? Is that a gay song? Do gay people say they're coming out? Is it, does that mean they're coming out of the closet? Are people going to think I'm coming out? Because I go, it's time for me to break out of my shell. It, I, 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 and I, I looked at her and I said, what are you talking about? Are you crazy, Diana? Are you out of your mind? I've never even heard of that. I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, I, I never even heard, I don't even, I never even heard that phrase before. We made that up. That's our phrase. We're the songwriters. We wrote that. We know it's your coming out song. It's and I even said to her, I'll never. Uh, the lie was so extensive. I got into it. I said, Diana. I said, think about this. And, and you know, there was like a whole thing about the Queen of Soul because 
you know, in a, it's Aretha Franklin. So I said, but, but Diana, you are the queen of soulful pop. <laughs> and you know how when the king or, we don't have a monarchy, but we have a president. And when the president comes out, there's a fanfare called Hail to the Chief. The president walks out and the band goes, da 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 Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the United States. So I said, so here's what's going to happen. They're going to go, ladies and gentlemen, Diana Ross. And instead of going, da 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 they're going to go, da 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 It's your fanfare. It's your coming out song, Diana. Go on, song, right? Yes. And really, one of the great anthems of our time, I Absolutely. think. I will survive. I will survive. I've That's chosen just song. because of that. It's a and wonderful you dove song. into the audience. Now, was that you or was that a stunt woman? <laughs> Very <laughs> true. Actually, it was a truly a night of a thousand Dianas. We had a lot of look-alikes. <laughs> you know, it was a um, gay and lesbian parade all over uh, Los Angeles in, on uh, Santa Monica. Uh -huh. And it was the most incredible evening. RuPaul was like the uh, MC of the evening. <laughs> And we sang I Will Survive, and then at the end, because we were really having such a good time, I actually just took off into the audience, and they just <laughs> carried and they me along. It was wonderful. Oh, <laughs> that's, called, that's called trust. That's called trust. <laughs> yes. yes. They had to shut down the streets of West Hollywood last night as diva Diana Ross met towering transvestite RuPaul. E.T.'s Lisa Canning was there for an event that was part drag pageant, part street party, and all Hollywood. She is the diva queen of Motown. He is the drag queen of pop. And last night, Diana Ross and RuPaul gave Hollywood a royal treat when they joined together to make a new video of an old hit. We just took I Will Survive into the 90s. Well, how did you hook up with RuPaul? That's what I want to know about. <laughs> We met, we met at the airport the first time, but we've, I think we've just known of each other for many years. For RuPaul, it was a dream come true when his longtime idol approached him about making the video. I've always been in love with Diana Ross. When I was growing up, I studied her album covers for my makeup tips. Who would have ever thought in a million years you'd see me and Diana Ross together on Santa Monica Boulevard? By no means is this your typical music video. Uh-uh, the streets are blocked off, and it's not just the traffic that's a drag. Hello, E.T. Welcome to the party! The casting call went out for some unusual extras, and Hollywood responded. At times, it was difficult to tell the real Miss Ross from the imposters. When you see this kind of love, I mean, what do you feel like? What, what, what goes to your mind? It's a beautiful compliment. Well, the title of the song is I Will Survive. It's a remake. It's a Gloria Gaynor song, and it has become, over these years, every generation, like, just like an anthem. Hey, hey, I, I it's also the fact that Diana is a, an international icon who is a survivor and who has come from point A and gone to point Z. I love, I know I'm still alive. I got all my life to live. I got all my love to give. There's a lot of competition out there. You better, you know what I'm saying. Well, I tell you, you know, and this song is, is about that. It's about, there's room for everybody. There's enough love to go for everybody. And I think uh, Diana, Diana Ross is the epitome of self-love and saying, you can do it. I will survive. I'm the boss. I'm coming out. It's my turn.
just call my name I'll be there in a hurry On that you can depend and never worry that only needs the thought of you to make it grow. So if you ever feel the need for company, please, my darling, let it be me. Hey, um, I have to get your thoughts on the silent protest tomorrow. How was the Abbey, Diana? 